All right, so I just replaced the audio cockpit sounds to English from Mandarin Chinese in a J11. I'm going to show you how to do that, but it's a fairly straightforward process that allows you to play on multiplayer servers. May help you out if you are switching FC3 planes. And that's what this tutorial is all about. Make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up. Let's give it a listen and see how the airplane sound with different audio first. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. All right, so that's how the aircraft sound. And the question you might have is why would you want to do this? Well, I did it because on Growling Sidewinder, they've put planes into different places. And if I want to grab a Russian Su-27, I need to be really far away. And I need to waste about a thousand kilograms of fuel to get there. You might have a situation where you want to fly a uh, J-11 instead of an Su-27 so you can employ the R-77 missiles. Or you might want to make 29 g because there isn't a MiG-29 S available and you're used to hearing the Russian voice instead of German. Well, this can be easily addressed by modifying a file within DCS. This is applicable to FC3 planes and there are some caveats. I'll show those to you in just a moment, but uh, they do work really well. And if you've flown the plane and you just want to get the audio correct, piece of cake to do this. Now, this is done by changing a config file within the DCS open beta folder. This is where your game is installed. You want to go into the scripts and then into the speech folder. Inside speech, you're going to have a LUA file called speech.lua. Copy and paste that somewhere safe so that you've got a backup just in case you break something. And then you can double click speech LUA to look at the contents. If speech LUA doesn't open up, right click, open with, find notepad, choose notepad, press OK, and it should open up a notepad. Once you've got it open, scroll down to where it says aircraft native country, and you're gonna see a whole bunch of entries. Those two entries at the bottom I entered myself, and keep in mind anything that has a double dash in front of it means it's a remarked line, so it's being disregarded. So I'm just gonna put those two there, and we're just gonna disregard those two bottom lines. So, J11, its base country ID is China. To change it to Russian, it's really easy. All you gotta do is take the capital words word Russia, copy it, paste it over the word China, make sure you don't erase the comma, the comma has to be there, paste it, and after you've saved the file, it'll become Russian. Now the MiG-29G, I wanna hear my audio in Russian. Put Russia there as well, make sure the comma's there, and go file and save. If you want to give it a US language pack, choose USA and put USA instead of Russia or China. Again, make sure the comma's there, save the file, restart DCS, and you're going to be in the language of your choice. A couple of things to keep in mind. Not everything will match up one to one. So for example, remember the audio that it's using is the F-15 sound. So when you're over g and you've got an English pack on a Russian plane, Instead of telling you in Russian, it's going to beep like an F-15 would beep when it's over G'ing. So keep that in mind when you do these configurations. You can always go back and of course, fly safe and stay out of trouble. I'll see you online, guys.